Hi everyone, um, thanks for watching my video. My name is Elizabeth West and my internship this semester was at West Music. Um, just a quick refresh on the company and my position. West Music is uh, a music company, shocking, um, with their headquarters in Coralville. Uh, they have eight locations throughout Iowa, um, even some bordering Quad Cities. There's one in Dubuque and Decorah and Marion as long and a couple other places too. Um, they're actually the 13th largest music company in the United States, which is pretty cool. Um, they also not only sell and repair musical instruments, but they also have music lessons for kids and they have music therapy services for disabled people or mentally handicapped people. Um, and my position this semester was just um, in, as their HR intern in their HR department. Um, so I just assisted the Human Resources Department, which actually just has two people running the show, um, my two bosses, Martha and Carla. And yeah, with about 200 employees, things got pretty hectic uh, sometimes for the three of us, but it was a good experience. Um, so yeah, this presentation is just a reflection on all the things I've learned this semester, as well as, you know, just how it's prepped me for the real world. Um, specifically, I'll be talking about my most favorite parts of the job, um, how my classes have and haven't really prepped me with some possible solutions for improvement, and then also just how West Music has helped me confirm my career goals um, in human resources and just set my plans for the future. Um, so yeah, first, uh, my most, most favorite part of the job, I really loved working with the people at West Music. Um, they're probably the most thoughtful and approachable people I could have hoped for, um, especially in my first human resources internship, um, which was pretty nice. Um, I actually read this article, um, A Work Valley's Approach to Corporate Culture. It was written in 1989 by Bruce um, Meglino, Elizabeth Ravlin, and then Cheryl Adkins. Um, and they actually found that an advantage of a strong corporate culture presumes that positive outcomes result when people's values are congruent with those of others. Um, and yeah, just basically said how overall job satisfaction and organizational commitment can increase just because um, people's values are aligned. And I found this to be so true at West Music. Um, it, yeah, it was mainly the reason why I loved it so much there and really got the most out of it. Um, everybody wanted to do their job really well in an easy going, stress free environment. Um, I felt super comfortable having kind of small chit chats just to get to know people with kind of without that sense of somebody kind of hovering over you um, and monitoring your every step. Um, they gave me a lot of autonomy and then even the dress was also um, on the more casual side for a business environment. I mean it's a music environment too so you have a lot of different um, different people in there so you know just having that more casual side of it kind of added to the whole corporate culture um, and yeah I just think the people and the culture is what made me the most satisfied and what made me get the most out of the internship. Um, Without it, I don't think I would have liked it as much because sometimes you're doing a lot of routine stuff, but I mean, if you're in an environment that you like, you really don't mind doing it. Um, yeah, so second, um, my classes, I think, and the communication um, studies courses, they probably could have done a little better to prep me for my current job. Um, as a communication studies major, it's really hard to find classes that actually directly rate directly relate to business, um, let alone human resources. I mean, there's a lot of opportunities in the college um, in the university as a whole, but not really directly in communications um, studies. So I think I learned the most in my organizational communication class um, taught by Mary High. Um, and yeah, I took that class last semester and we actually learned about human resources. It was one of the topics. Um, so yeah, and um, the sixth edition of Organizational Communication by Eric Eisenberg, um, H.L. Goodall Jr. and Angela, Angela Threthway. Um, we learned that human resources is really concerned with um, the total organizational climate, um, which is kind of what I talked about in my previous part. And they also encourage people, um, encourage employee participation and um, dialogue. And however, this is just probably one of the only communications that actually involve any business topics. And um, their human resources section in the text was 
kind of pretty brief and only discussed a few management theories. Um, and I'm actually a business student in the TP College of Business too, so a lot of the um, topics I do know that related to my job are more from um, my management courses, but I just think a lot of communication majors, um, you know, really don't have the access to the um, stuff taught in the communication studies courses, so I didn't really feel like my class in the department fully prepared me for all the technical aspects of HR, even just knowing general employee job description stuff, um, um, you know, organizational assimilation, any basic law topics probably would have been helpful going into it. Um, but yeah, I did have a good base um, general knowledge for my organizational communication class and a couple of my other classes too, like business professional um, communication. So that helped too. And even I remember our lecture about um, leadership leadership style and business etiquette helped me a lot um, when having to meet the president and CEO of Us Music. I made sure I had my handshake really <laughs> firm and, you know, just kind of present myself well. So I didn't remember that. So <laughs> thanks for that. Um, so third, um, just going into career goals. Um, my internship has really helped me confirm um, that I want to continue in human resources and probably even become the director of human resources somewhere one day. Um, I've really been able to develop a lot of um, a good foundation of what human resources is just by being in the HR department. Um, since, yeah, I said before, it's just the two of them in the HR department. So, you know, it's just both of them and they're touching on a lot of different topics. Um, so, yeah, although a lot of the tasks I did day to day um, were sometimes routine and not always the most engaging, um, just by being around Martha and Carla, I was able to kind of just get a solid grasp on it all and they're always open to questions and always encourage me to ask my questions that always run in with things that I've learned in my classes and say do we do this here and they say yeah we do so that was helpful too um yeah in the article um 24 business communication skills attitudes of human resource managers versus business educators um this was written in 2011 by David Conran and Robert Newberry um, they actually talked about how leadership skills and a personal communication ability and organizational skills are especially important in human resources. And I just feel that in one semester, I was really able to become more of a leader and improve my speaking skills as well. Um, even just general communication skills and talking to associates or just trying to find the most effective ways to explain things to our new hires. Um, you know, that definitely improved. And yeah, even my overall organizational skills improved as well, um, just by being in an office setting. I've never been in an office setting before, so that was something new too. So I just want to continue learning and improving my HR skills. So yeah, my internship this semester has been extremely beneficial. There's been a lot of things that I've enjoyed at West Music. Um, the people, the workload, all the learning, um, getting burgers every week was nice too. Um, so yeah, um, it's just really helped me confirm my career goals. I do wish the communication classes, like I said, would better prep um, students about business topics, but I mean, that's not really the area, so I get it. <laughs> but it wasn't exactly necessary just for the success of my overall job, just because, I mean, a lot of it was new new skills that I had to learn anyway. And I don't know, overall, I'm just really happy I decided to go through with the internship, um, where I to put all the skills I've learned to find a job in human resources after I graduate on Saturday. Um, I'm hoping they'll be impressed with all the stuff I've learned. So yeah, thanks for watching.